Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the lectures on natural language processing. In the last lectures in bag of words, we saw about how we could actually find in the frequency of different words and what exactly a bag of model is. So we will like uh, further cover this idea more and we will actually implement the vector form of bag of words model. So we stopped at the point where we found out the frequency of all of the words and we decided to have a, uh, like uh, a counter over which uh, we could actually like uh, like over which we could have only those words uh, which has a frequency greater than that of the specified number so we specify the number to be as two that is num uh, that is only those words which have a frequency greater than or equal so to will be put in the back and otherwise would be discarded right so what i need right now is i need to implement a dictionary which will actually store in all of these words actually store in all of these words and tell me okay like these are the words and these are the like these are the keys and these are the values so it's very easy to implement a dictionary over here i would go and like i would uh, uh create an empty dictionary first and over here i would like where i am writing print i'm actually write dict of result of i is equals to count right and i would run this rerun this piece of code over here again and as you can see if i print the dictionary this is the result that i am getting so i have one keyword as the the second keyword uh, the second key as world uh then cup in brazil and then full stop so i could have discarded full stop over here there is a way to discard the punctuations but uh, like i'm not discarding it right now i'm just explaining you right uh, right now like uh like how to implement the back of words model and how to create the vector out of it. So once this is done, now we'll actually create a vector. So vector out of it. So how do how will we create a vector out of it? So what happens is that like in the entire text, uh, like uh, we know that okay, the is the word which is appearing in the dictionary. So we'll replace this the by one. Then we know that FIFA is not appearing in the dictionary. So we'll replace this word by zero. Then we know that world is appearing in is in the dictionary. So I will replace this word by one and so on and so forth. So what I'm doing is that like whatever words are actually appearing in the dictionary, whatever words are actually appearing in the dictionary, I'm just replacing them by a value one. So I also specify that, okay, these are the words that are present in the, like, uh, like these are the words that are present in my pack. So this actually con gets converted down into a vector, right? A vector of one or uh, one and zeros, right? And basically we could pass this vector onto the machine learning model so as to get our uh, final result. So it's very easy to actually now convert this into a vector. What we need to do is that we need to iterate over the text. So we already have iterated over the text and what we'll be doing is that we will be like, uh, creating another list let's say the name of the list is final and we will be checking if the word exists in the dictionary or not if it does not exist replace it by zero else replace it by one right so and i will write for i in range zero comma length of list for j in dict if result of i result of i is equals equals to j okay is if it's equals equals to j then what will uh, like if it's equals to j like we have found this so what happens is that first uh, like the the first word over here is the uh, or over here is actually the right so we'll check if the appears in the list or not so this appears in the list so we need to convert or we need to append a zero uh, sorry we need to append a one word so what are we doing is i will be appending uh, a one so final dot append is basically one right and i would break from over here right and if it's not the case right like uh, if it's not the case so we will go back and uh, uh, i would basically set one flag variable over here as well so flag let's say is zero over here so flag variable so flag is basically one right and uh, once this is done so if flag is equals equals to zero so i would be like doing final dot append is equals to zero over here right and else like uh, the normal thing that we generally do so what is happening is that 
check flag is equals to zero over here yeah so what is happening over here is that i'm actually iterating over this this list which is result and then i am iterating over the dictionary and i'm checking if result of i like the is equals to the okay let's just uh, tell this as uh, but I mean, let's just append one and break from it as soon as I break from it. So I would go over here. So flag is already like equals to one. So no need to append zero, go back over here, right? Then let's say the word we get is FIFA. So FIFA is not present over here. So since FIFA is not present over here, so I will first check. Okay. If result of one, uh, is it equals to FIFA? No, it's not. It's not, it's not, it's not. I mean, it will, it's not so else continue would actually do something here so it's not so just continue back over here continue back over here continue back over here so result is basically zero or the flag is basically zero so finally it will append zero over here so let me just run this piece of code and as no okay it should be a result right a result and and let me just print final right now so print final and this is the result that we are basically getting so if we see the text the text was let me just copy this text over here so as to give you a good view so okay so the was present in the list so we are getting one fifa was not present in the like dictionary we are we are getting a zero world was uh, not present in the, sorry world was present in the dictionary we are getting like one cup was present in the dictionary we are getting one and again we are getting one zero one zero based on like what is present and what is not present so this is a bag of words model where we have actually like calculated or created a vector and this vector now needs to be passed into the like uh input of the machine learning model so as to get a prediction right so you don't need to like uh, manually or hard codely implement this uh, in python like you have libraries like uh, like count vectorizer in um, your scalar which actually does this work for you so you don't need to like manually re-implement it all over again but i was just like giving an example so as to make you understand like what bag of words model is so as like uh, i hope it's now clear like bag of words model is basically putting all of the words in your bag but only those words which are having a greater frequency and then like creating a vector out of it right so this is what a bag of word model is and i will end this lecture over here with the hope that you have understood the concepts behind bag of word model so i will meet you in the next one thank you